question. Do you love licking that spoon after mixing up a luscious cake batter? Don't do it. You could be setting yourself up for severe health complications. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, joins us right now. Hi, Dr. Nandy. Hi, Carolyn. All right, so we often hear how raw eggs can be dangerous to eat, but that's not the pantry staple we're talking about today, right? Unfortunately, my kids are going to kill me on this, oh. but uh, today we're talking about flour. So a new study looked carefully into the 2016 E. coli outbreak where 63 cases were reported and 17 people are hospitalized. Now, tests confirmed that certain brands of flour were contaminated. The concern now is that E. coli and raw, raw flour may be more common than we pro uh, previously believed. Evidence shows that even though raw flour is a low moisture food, it can still carry this bacteria. All right, Dr. Dandy, so how does E. coli get into flour? It's a good question. So flour comes from a grain which is grown in fields, and these crops are typically treated, not treated to kill bacteria. So if animal feces are present, it gets harvested along with the grain and made into flour. So proper cooking methods are important to follow as they kill bacteria in foods. Makes sense, huh? All right, so I'm guessing your prescriptions are going to include not eating raw cookie dough, huh? Unfortunately, uh, we need to skip eating cookie dough because even one little taste can make you sick. E. coli can also be found in other foods. So here are my prescriptions. Number one is avoid unpasteurized foods like milk, juice, and soft cheeses. They're too high risk. Also cook meats to the highest, uh, to the right temperatures, especially ground beef. Be sure to use a food thermometer. Also use safe cooking methods like roasting, frying, or baking. Be sure to wash your hands after baking or preparing foods. And finally, don't eat cake mix or any batter product that, that should be cooked or baked and always follow the package directions. All right, so are there any severe complications if you end up getting E. coli from eating raw cookie dough or anything else? Yeah, Carolyn, so most people get stomach cramps, vomiting, diarrhea, and fever. Not fun, but a life-threatening form of kidney failure can develop called hemolytic uremic syndrome. Young kids and older adults need to watch out for it. But for most healthy adults, they'll recover from E. coli typically within a week. But you don't want to get it, so please follow the advice we give you. Oh, we will do that as always. Thank you so much, Dr. Nanny, for your expertise. We appreciate you. Joanne?